more than four weeks after a Travis County jury found him guilty, Daniel Perry back in a Travis County courtroom this week set to learn his sentence for the 2020 murder of Garrett Foster. The judge heard it victim impact statements and more testimony from experts today. Today, KVU's Ford Sanders spoke with a legal expert to find out how that could affect his decision. A full day back and forth from attorneys and hearing from witnesses. All saying their piece as a judge considers sentencing Daniel Perry for the murder of Garrett Foster. He faces anywhere from two years to life in prison. Once a finding of guilt has been determined, then the judge can look at any number of factors to determine what he believes is the appropriate punishment for the particular offense. Witnesses like Garrett Foster's fiance Whitney Mitchell spoke about their relationship before he was killed. He would put on the soap for me and like, you know, scrub my face with it wash it off because I, I had like a whole face routine he would do for me. Former Travis County District Court Judge Charlie Baird says this emotional testimony helps paint a picture of the victims as a judge considers a sentence. Even though it might have been emotional and seemed to be like a play on the emotions was probably more just to show the impact that this particular crime had on the lives of one specific individual. Perry's defense team called a psychologist who spoke about Perry's mental state leading up to the night of the shooting. Does Daniel Perry suffer from PTSD? I believe he does, yes, sir. That psychologist also claims Perry showed signs of being on the autism spectrum, but Baird says those factors may not help Perry in the way his attorneys hope. That because of his, his uh, psychological um, situation and because of his PTSD, that he could in fact be more likely to commit this type of offense again. And I think that's probably what the state uh, argued today. Perry's legal team claims he shot Foster out of sudden passion, a legal term that implies a lack of planning. They say after he turned into the crowd of protesters, Perry had seconds to react. He provoked this incident by driving into the crowd. And that's been our position since the get go. The typical offense of murder is anywhere from five years confinement all the way up to confinement for life and a $10,000 fine. However, if it is determined that the murder was committed under the heat of sudden passion, the range of punishment becomes that of two years in prison all the way up to 20 years in prison. And after hearing all this testimony today, Judge Clifford Brown says he plans to hand down Perry's sentence at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Perry's attorneys have already asked for a new trial, but that motion was thrown out. So once the sentencing is done, the appeal process can begin. Brian Quita. Gave you Sports Sanders with us live here in the studio tonight. Thank you for it.